Hi, Joe Curry, k and RV Center in London for the virtual RV show. Behind me is the 2021 Grand Design Imagine 2970RL. This is my favorite full-size Imagine floor plan. Big living room slide with large opening windows, two awnings, power awning of course, and they are fully adjustable. If you want to adjust the pitch of the awning, just grip it here, give it a tilt, your rain will flow where you'd like it to. The shade will be where you want it as well. So very, very easy to deal with there. Nice to know as well, it's a nice wide door so you can get in easily without banging elbows or sides. Um, some of the older folks may want to bring their walker or things like that in. It will fit nicely through the extra wide door. And it is held open by a magnet versus a little plastic tab that can pull out if you give it a pull. These ones, of course, you pull on it, releases from the magnet. No damage if you didn't remove your little stopper there. So if we look at where this baggage door is, it's well below the frame. So this is what they call a drop frame. The baggage door is at the level of your hitch or A-frame of the trailer. And when I open, we'll see the baggage doors are really, really thick and heavy, very well insulated. They're held up by magnets and is that slam latch style. But look how tall it is. Look how much space we have in here. It's all very well lit. There's two LED light fixtures here, one on either side, so you can see what you're trying to reach even in the night. But again, really heavy doors, well insulated, the slam latch style with your... Uh, key that's proprietary to this latch. And here we are at the front of the Grand Design Imagine 2970 RL, and you'll see that we have a power tongue jack. It's a very simple tongue jack, which means it's reliable. It works quickly and reliably, so it's a great tongue jack. Uh, the two 20-pound propane bottles are under the hard cover here. We provide the Group 24 lead-acid battery here. That'll give you approximately 85 amp hours of power, you know, three, four days off-grid if you're, you know, watching your power usage a little bit there. The front of the trailer itself gives you a metal stone guard, so if there are any stones that are popping up off your tires, it's caught here and not in a thin fiberglass. And you also have this molded fiberglass painted cover. You're not going to use lose any color here it's an automotive paint and they also use if I step forward here a little bit of a rhino type coating and that rhino coating will keep that uh, fiberglass from being damaged by stones or other road-borne debris we're on the roadside front of the 2970 RL here. I wanted to show you the docking station. A docking station allows for a lot of your connection points to be inside the trailer behind the locked door. The idea here being security so no one can mess around with your water systems, your disconnects, uh, but primarily it's to keep punctures from the sidewall. Having everything inside, fewer exposures to the elements, fewer opportunities to water get into punctures on the fiberglass outside. But here we do have a battery cutoff. We have a diverter to fill your holding tank. We have the hot and cold running water shower, cable and satellite connectivity, and AC plugs. They all come up under the trailer through the wet well so that when everything is all connected you simply slam that nice thick really secure baggage door to protect all of those connections. And here are most of the mechanicals on the 2970RL. You'll see the Dometic water heater. So this is a gas electric water heater. When you're plugged in, you would use the park power, of course, but when you're off-grid, you have the gas option as well. Uh, this is a black tank flush, so you can put your water hose here. That will wash away any solid waste or bits of toilet paper in your black tank. Uh, the docking light allows you, when you're hooking up for wastewater dumping at the, in the evening, you can see nicely there as well. Uh, the Suburban furnace is one of the better furnaces you could get. It's a nice high-powered furnace and it's a 50 amp service so you can run the air conditioner, the fireplace that we'll see inside, all of the electrical can be run at the same time with a 50 amp service and it's nice to know that it is a detachable marine cord style so that's a 25 foot detached cord that will come with it and we'll give you step down adapters going from 50 amps to 30 for those parks that only offer that level of, of uh, water or power supply and of course a park adapter going from 30 to 15 as well. 
you'll see at the rear of the 2970 here that it does come with the spare tire and storage bumper. It is all LED lighting, so really nice and brilliant so people can see when you're stopping or turning. There is a uh, rough in or a pre-wire, I should say, for the Furion rear vision camera. And of course, these are all walkable roof type products with a really robust truss style roof there. So there is a ladder for access so you can check your seams and seals and spring and fall to make sure that they still have their integrity to keep the water out. And here we are inside the 2021 Grand Design Imagine 2970 RL. What a beautiful trailer. Again, this is my favorite layout for the full-size Imagine. And you can likely see why already. Large windows surrounding you in the really comfortable sofa bed. This is a tri-fold sofa that flips out to give you really comfortable uh, bed spaces for your guests. And you have nightstands on either side, hydro plugs on either side, a good amount of storage in those uh, end tables as well. As we look at the full-size slide, again, opening windows at the end for those cross breezes. Really nice to have. And uh, the theater seating is really comfortable as well. This is a full reclining, and they go down quite flat, almost like that Sunday afternoon nap type position in the recliners. And they do have a heat function, a massage function, and uh, you do have the lit um, cup holders here as well. Little storage in the center for your remote controls, things like that. And the nice thing about its placement is it looks directly over at your entertainment and fireplace. Here we see the TCL Smart TV. This is a Roku Smart TV, very nice. And it does have your stereo system behind this frosted glass door. And you'll see it is a DVD, HDMI, USB, mini plug adapter, Bluetooth as well. So complete connectivity for all of your entertainment and a nice modern style fireplace as well, which is a space heater and has that simulated electric flame. Uh, with uh, continuing along in the galley area, a really nice full-size pantry. It's lit. That's actually a motion sensor light there, so it'll only turn on when you open the door if you have it in that setting, uh, or you can just have it in the off setting and manually turn that light on. But a nice feature there is the auto illumination of that light. Uh, you do have a nice low profile hood vent, again lit, and it, it does vent to the outside so any cooking vapors are exhausted there. A good size microwave that will fit a good size dinner plate. So for reheating those snacks that are left over from yesterday, really nice. And again, a good amount of cabinet space up here too. The range is an oven, so that's a propane gas oven and a propane three burner cooktop. This uh, glass top acts as a bit of a backsplash here and you can see the really nice heavy steel grate here. That's going to keep that frying pan fitting, sitting nice and flat. More storage to the side and a really nice large pot filler here and you actually have nice little plugs and pegs that hold your pots in place uh, so they don't fly around as you're traveling. The three and a half cubic foot fridge is next in view. So you have a full size freezer with door and shelf storage. That's nice and cold already from being plugged in here this morning. And down below as well, auto lights turning on as we open, clear adjustable door shelves with two clear crispers below as well for your fresh fruits and things like that. A really nice work surface here that allows you to look out at your guests if you're the one in the kitchen prepping for the day and opening your sink cover that comes standard, you'll see the large one hole undermounted stainless steel sink. That's just a really nice size. Your pot will fit in and of course with the pot filler style faucet and the spray hose, you really have a nice island here. Directly across from the island and galley, is the dining area. Standard is a dinette bench seat that can convert for sleeping. In this case, we've optioned in the four chairs with wooden table. A bit more of a residential feel this way. Kind of a neat feature with these chairs as well. There is storage underneath, so the cribbage board, things like that, great spot to hide. Here in the hallway in the entry is the sliding bathroom door. Really nice to have a sliding door so it doesn't get in the way in the hallway. And there is a nice tether here to hold it open. 
uh, for travel, you'll see a wonderful vanity space here with lots of storage above and below and counter space for all of the items for your morning prep. A medicine cabinet uh, is going to hold all of those daily needs as well. And then you'll see the cubbies for towels and, and uh, face cloths, things like that in the large 24 by 36 inch shower with skylight and traveling wand. Uh, the toilet is a porcelain bowl. No plastic here that will simply scratch and stain when you try to wash it. Very, very civilized, very strong and a little taller than others as well. And up above that cabinet, uh, up above I should say, there is a cabinet for more storage in the washroom area. The bedroom of the 2970RL is a really nice space as well. It's a full-size residential queen bed, not one of those shorty queen RV beds. It's a true residential length. And you'll see within, there's a nice padded headboard here. You have the reading light. You can actually use these as an accent light as well with the blue light, uh, but the, uh, the white light is a nice, nice bright reading light. Overhead storage, same kind of hinges that we're seeing in the rear. So they hold up on their own without any p pistons that will weaken over time or they're having to hold it up to reach for your sweaters or blankets. A very, very nice uh, cabinet style. And we have shirt lockers on either side as well with two drawers below for those socks and undies that we need space for. Really nice to have on either side of the bed is a little cubby here place to put your glasses, the place to put your phone, your book, that kind of thing. And there are plugs there and USB charging center as well. As we come over into the corner, you'll see again the double door wardrobe. It is lit, automatic light there. So a great amount of hanging storage and drawer space below. Thanks for watching this video of the 2021 Grand Design Imagine 2970 RL. I'm Joe Curry. I'm at Can-Am RV Center in London, Ontario for the 2021 Virtual RV Show. If you'd like more information about this Imagine 2970 RL, please give me a call at 866-226-2678 or see us online, canamrv.ca.